Hey guys, what's up? Doing a follow-up video to my previous video. A bunch of my plants seem to be recovering. Uh, these three bell peppers right here, they seem to be doing all right. That one is beginning to form a Y, and I think that one will soon follow. This peaking right here seems to be getting some new growth in a few spots, so that's good. The habanero seems about the same, though it should be picking up soon. The Thai dragon it's still looking as good as ever. Oh, check that out. What is that, a June bug? Looks like a June bug. I don't know if they're bad for the plants, though. Let me focus back on. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. Then uh, the big peak in that I have in the bucket here, it's getting new growth in a few spots. Then uh, the big peak in that I have grown in the ground, some of the leaves had started falling off, but it didn't. Well, it wasn't as bad as some of the other plants, and as you can see, it's already starting to get new growth in a few spots, so that's all good. The chili de arbol, I don't know what the hell happened with this. Yesterday, it was kind of looking like this, and I watered it. I thought maybe it was a little dried out, and that it would sort of bounce back, but... It didn't, and I watered it today and kind of got it wet, like the leaves. See if it would cool it down, but the leaves seem to be all shriveling up. This thing may be ready to die, for all I know. But then again, I'm not really too surprised. I've had that plant for, I want to say, four years now, maybe five. Then here's the Trinidad Scorpion Pepper. I went and cut some of it back. And as you can see, it's got new growth coming in in a few spots. So hopefully that should bounce back real soon. This thing, the leaves are looking kind of funky on it. Don't really know what the deal is with that. But it's got peppers on it though. Then the other peak in, I went and cut this one back, and as you can see, it's got a bunch of new growth coming in. Still got my uh, basils coming in down there, and the Trinidad scorpions, though they're looking kind of funky, so don't really know how well they'll do. And I cut a lot of back on the uh, Tabasco here. As you can see, spots for new growth. Cutting it back seemed to help. With a lot of the plants. Because I cut this one back, even though it doesn't really look like I cut a whole lot back but it's got spots of new growth coming in on them. Like just about all the ones I cut back have new growth coming in. Same thing with the ghost pepper. Cut it back and it's already got new spots coming in. <clears throat> then these ones I was kind of wishy-washy on whether I should just 
take them out completely or do the cutback method. The cutback method seemed to be working. Got all my basil there. They're all doing good. Then here's the one pecan that was grown in the ground. Cut that one back and this one's actually coming back like really, really fast. It's got new sprouts coming in everywhere. <clears throat> the super chili here in the ground. It's kind of struggling a bit, a bit. I might cut that one back. I didn't cut it back before because it actually looked better than some of the other plants, but now I might actually cut it back. Then there's that bell pepper. It's kind of got some sprouts coming off the side of it, so hopefully that'll do well. Then this one, which was actually looking pretty good, but now more of the leaves kind of fell off, so I'll probably have to cut this one back too. <clears throat> then right here, the super chili died. Well, actually it was more like three super chilies in one pot because they all came bundled together like that which I think is the reason it died because I think what happens is they sort of feed off all the nutrients and then some of the other ones aren't getting the proper amount but it just pretty much died today like it was looking bad yesterday I thought maybe it might be able to come back but it's not and then as I was uh, digging around in here, I was surprised to find a bunch of worms. Don't know how well that's shown up on the camera, but there's an earthworm right there. And there's actually quite a few in here. Now, I don't know if having earthworms in your soil is good or bad, but... Uh, you think it would probably be good because they can probably like help maintain the soil or something if you if you know please tell me but uh I was just surprised to see how many were in here let's see if I can find some more Well, there were a bunch earlier. Uh -oh. Oops. They must have went deeper in because earlier when I was stirring it all up like a bunch of them were near the top. Don't know if it, you can see it but there's a little tiny baby one right there. Maybe you can see it moving. Another one right there. But yeah, there's like a bunch of worms in here. Anyway, that's my update video for now. See you guys later. I'm out.